Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's King Brill coming at you again with another video. And today, we get into a very interesting topic. Today, I'm teaching y'all how to grow your hair one inch in one day using rice water, all right? So just a small disclaimer, I've never used white rice water. This is gonna be my first time. So y'all get to walk with me on this journey. And we gonna see what these results are like, all right? Because I've been doing my research and I've been hearing great things. So with that being said, let's get started. That's why I'm the king around here. Remember you guys, if you got hair, you gotta do your research, all right? So let's type it into Google, all right? So here we go. But no, 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 no. Okay, so rice water. How do we get rice water to help grow our hair, all right? So we gonna get the rice water, boom, rinse out the impurities, boom. Boom, all right, bet, that's enough research for me, just one Google, that's all we need. We only gotta click on the website. So now, I've decided that we need one key ingredient to make this all work, rice. Let's go get some rice. Boy! The rice. Boom, so I'm gonna assume that you don't use this kind of rice, all right? You probably don't wanna use that. So we gonna go with the basic kind, cause I do not want my hair to fall out, all right? Let's do it. On second thought, I think I'll get the generic rice. I don't want my shit to fall out. Boom, now I got the rice and the chicken. Chicken is a very important part of this. So do you actually keep the rice when you make rice water? Like does the rice, do you eat the rice? When it comes, no, none of the Google searches answer any of my questions. It's the holy secret that will make your hair grow one inch in one day, rice water. So now the research tells me that I'm supposed to wash my hair and then rinse my hair with the rice water and let it sit for like 10, 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this dry for about, about 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna wash it out and we're gonna see what's popping. All right, y'all. So this white stuff that you see in my head is the Shea Moisture uh, Leave-In Conditioner. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really trying to get curly hair. I just want it to be moisturized and I ain't really got time right now to deep condition my hair. I'm about to head out. So I use this instead. But I guess this is what y'all been waiting for, man. This lean check, all right? This lean check. We're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what's up with it. We're gonna see. I'm gonna grab a nice little, little chunk of hair, all right? Nice little chunk of hair. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Going from the side, going from the side, going from the side. Matter of fact, let's go from right here. Let's go from right here. Let's see what we got back here. Yeah, nigga, you see that? Stop playing with me, boy. Stop playing with me, boy. You see that? All right, y'all. So just giving y'all my spiel on rice water. I feel my scalp tingling. So you know what I'm saying? If you feel your scalp tingling after you put on a product, you can bet on one thing, that that product is gonna help or some way contribute to your hair growth. Cause if your scalp is tingling, that means your nerves are working. Your nerves in your scalp are working. That means blood is flowing to your scalp, more blood to your scalp. If you watch my other videos, you know that that means hair growth. Man, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It took me a long time to do this video because I left the rice water in the water on the pot like three times and burned the rice all three times. Like I left the water in the pot with the rice and let it boil and I forgot I had it up there. <laughs> and I legit went and got the rice. The rice had absorbed all the water. I had to dump all that rice out into the garbage disposal, put some more rice in there, then put some more water in there, then put it back up there. I forgot that one. I had to dump that rice out. And then I finally was able to dump some rice in there, put some water in the pan, heat it up. And finally I was able to stop it before it really boiled. 
I poured the rice out, kept the water, you know what I'm saying? Got rid of the little ass strikes or whatever might be floating around, floating around in there. Then I just used it to rinse my hair. They say do it for like 10, 20 minutes. That's what my research has shown me, but and you can do it for however long you want, man. I feel like rice water is something that's really still subjective, especially if you got a hair type similar to mine, like 4A, 4B, 4C, even 3C, 3B. So does rice water actually work for growing your hair? The answer is I don't know, all right? So this is my first time using rice water. I'm supposed to be showing y'all how to use the rice water, all right? So I, it ain't even been a day. It's been 20 minutes since I had the rice water in. So I'm gonna check back with y'all next week and I'm gonna show y'all after I use the rice water one or two more times, does it really grow your hair as fast as people say it grows your hair? Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave them down below in the comment section. And subscribe. Peace. That's why I'm the king around here. Also, you guys, stay tuned for next week, October 18th on Friday. I am dropping my first music video, all right? I'm dropping my first music video. Not that y'all care, but I want y'all to watch it. Whether you like it or don't like it, I want you to tell me down below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell. I want everybody to hear this. Part two coming next week. Peace.